Hey, what's up, guys? Tom is back with another Linsense video. Today, I got a fragrance. Hey, by the way, if you like this shirt, for shizzle. I know y'all like that shirt. That's a badass shirt. Big thanks to my brother and his wife for making me this shirt. I love it. Um, love pho even more. Pho is awesome, especially around this time of uh, weather right here. But let's just get into the fragrance that I'm here to discuss, okay? You guys all came here to learn about a nice fragrance. And I got a nice one for you guys today. Man, I was actually fortunate to get this for pretty cheap off eBay. Um, bought some from eBay. They took a long time getting it to me. So they wanted to show their uh, sincere apology and show their gratitude for me still shopping with them. They said, hey, we'll send you a free $10 coupon. So I was like, man, why not, man? So I pretty much got this for like 18 bucks. That is Porsche, the essence. Now, if you guys remember, I did a video on Porsche 180, the design. So this is Porsche design, the essence. Man, that Porsche 180, man, that's an awesome-ass bottle, too, if you guys didn't see that one. But, yeah, I paid like 18 bucks for this. It was originally like 28 and then with that $10 coupon, got this. So, um, it's probably not the right time to be um, getting this fragrance because I'm definitely not going to be able to wear it. Well, you know what? I'm going to wear it anyways. I'm going to wear it no matter what the damn day is, okay? What the temperature is, the weather, I don't care what season only season I care about is in my food. That's the only season I care about. I don't care the season outdoors because I'm going to wear this fragrance, whatever the season, all right? But anyways, guys are probably going to think it's a summer and spring um, fragrance anyways. Uh, at the top, we got blueberry and juniper. And then in the middle, we got pine tree, pepper, and coriander. Going to give you that nice pine, spicy scent. And at the end, we got incense and patchouli. Now, those last few notes kind of have you thinking maybe it could be like a fall type fragrance but for the most part most of those like that coriander that seems more like a um spring summer type uh spice if you will um blueberry juniper blueberry being a nice uh fruit for the summer spring but man let me just start off with the bottle kind of reminds me of um like a bottle from mercedes the mercedes with the button Lodged into the uh, bottle itself. Something like uh, John uh, Bogart. Is that the name? Bogart? That porro with the little cap and sprayer that's like built into the cap. If there is a cap, there is not. I don't think so. The atomizer itself is built into the top of the bottle. This one's the same damn thing. Look at that. This big old lime green summery looking cap. And right there is the button. That you will be pressing to get this juice all over your body. But there you go. Batch code. Batch code alert. Batch code. If anybody can tell me if this is like the, uh, is this like the 2009 limited edition batch code? Is everything popping more with this one? I don't know. Everybody's so hooked on batch codes. I just felt like talking about batch codes. But anyways. Let's get into the fragrance, okay? Again, blueberry and juniper at the opening. Now, that's not juniper berries. It's just juniper. Like I said in the previous video, I don't really know what that means. Is that like the stem of the juniper berries or what? If you guys know, please let me know so I can know for the next video, okay? Please, somebody. All right, here we go. Let's just spray it away. Ooh. That's a nice little mister. It's a nice petite mist. It's not like a full blast, but man, I'm telling you, I'm smelling like these fruity, that fruity pine right in the air though. So blueberry and that pine. See that eyebrow going up? Means I'm doing my detective work. Man, but that is nice. That uh, blueberry is popping a lot. That juniper, 
uh, mix it with that blueberry. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's berries because I think if it was berries, this would be real sweet at the top. It's not overly sweet because if you guys know, blueberries aren't like one of those super sweet fruits like strawberries or raspberries. It's kind of got that mellow sweetness to it, which this has. And that is pretty damn nice, you guys. That's like popping off the skin. Got the hand still looking pretty moist. You know, I got more expensive bottles that you spray and it's like your hand's already dry by this time. But look at that. The hand still looks moist. Now, this is one of those weird ones. I'm not going to be able to smell this one straight from the bottle. So I'm going to have to do a spray to get the smell. See, so can't just whip this out and be like, no, nah, you don't really get no whiff of this uh, juice from the sprayer. Let me try it one more time. Nope. So, man, that blueberry is actually very nice, you guys, in there. And that pine tree, getting a little bit of piney scent in there. With just a little hint of pepper. Not too much. Just a hint. All right? That coriander, that's that nice, fresh, I think it's like a... Uh, some kind of spice. I forgot what the hell it looks like. Um, it's not the one that, uh, is that the one that kind of almost is similar to, um, what's the one that we like to eat in our Mexican dishes? Uh, help me out. Help me out here. Help me out. Um, what's that? That, fuck it, man. I think coriander is like that thing I'm trying to describe to you. Oh, man, but this is just so nice, so crispy, so aromatic, so airy. This stuff, man, I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to love this blueberry note. If you get your nose on this, this is very, very nice, you guys. Man, this looks like that guy who's stepping out of a nice Porsche with the top let back. Probably listening to some uh, John Stewart or some shit like that. Rod Stewart. Listening to some like 80s rock. But he's kind of young still. He just wants to listen to 80s rock because he's got the damn convertible top. Drop down. But man, this is nice, man. Wearing this on a beach. Wearing this on a cruise. Wearing this outdoors. Wearing this at like a uh, summer outdoor wedding man you guys this is very nice and it's still popping off my hand very loudly if i might add man that pine tree is definitely rounding out this fragrance very nicely with that blueberry you're still getting a nice hint of that blueberry still getting that coriander cilantro that's what I was thinking about earlier. Cilantro. I think coriander is somewhat similar. Maybe I'm wrong. Nah, I don't know. If I'm correct, then I'd be, you know, I'll know. But man, this is very, very lovely. This is definitely... Pardon me. This is definitely not going to offend nobody. Everybody's going to love this damn scent. There's not going to be a hater... That's going to just say, man, I just did not like what you're wearing. There's not going to be any of those. Trust me, they're going to like it. Man, you guys, I'm telling you, that blueberry note in there is very lovely. It's actually probably my first fragrance with the blueberry, especially at the top. But man, that blueberry definitely pops nicely in the opening. And then now that pine and that coriander, that... um. What else we got in here? Patchouli. Man. This stuff, you guys. If you guys get a chance to spray this, if you guys get a chance to buy this, $28. Do not hesitate, man. This is just as good. Maybe a little bit better than the last Porsche fragrance that I reviewed. Man. I can't wait to wear this outdoors. Man, like I said, I'm going to wear this anytime. I don't care. But, like, man, when I go and I sit outside in the nice summer heat, this is going to be lovely. This is going to be real nice out in that springtime, 75, 85, 95, 110 degrees. If you're living in the fucking desert like Arizona, this stuff 
is gonna be nice, you guys. Trust me on that. Believe me. But shizzle, this shit is good. All right, go out there and get it. If you guys can get it, I'll leave the description down below. It's on eBay. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Now catch you back next time. All right. Peace out. Yeah. Uh.